Welcome! My name is Cyber Settler and here we are again in the Space Lab. And today I will try again uh, the spinning space station challenge again. So just to remind you or uh, those who are tuning in in our channel for the first time, in the last episode I tried to make this rotating space station with artificial gravity created by the rotation in uh, Space Engineers but it didn't work so quickly I uh, described the, set the settings we have we have two spaceships linked together by a tether and this uh, tether is uh, little less than 500 meters apart and the idea is to have this uh, system rotating uh, more or less two revolutions per minute and according to my calculations this would create uh, a force e equivalent to 1g approximately in this place so the idea is that once this um, system is rotating we can stand up in this platform here and regardless of the magnetic boots because now I'm uh, let's say uh, stuck in in the platform by the magnetic boots but if I jump I will just drift away so if there's a force similar to the gravity that we experience on, on Earth, I will fall back. Also, I set up a, an experiment where I let lose this uh, mass here. There are four masses in total in, in the both spaceships. And this should fall and drop close to this point here that I have marked in the platform according to my calculations it, it should take less than two seconds to fall if there would be um, gravity I have noticed that somehow when um, these merge blocks are disconnected there's a small force applied to one side uh, and it tends to to fall um, not uh, directly here but um, somewhere in this direction to the uh, outer part of the station now this didn't work last time because there's a strange thing uh, or a strange setting in space engineers where the thrusters all apply their force to the center of mass now my idea was to offset um, some thrusters like these thrusters that are pointing down uh, of the ship and in that way um, we have two thrusters here and two thrusters in the other spaceship that are facing um, uh, are facing opposite directions and when I activated them at the same time it will make the whole system spin but for some weird um, settings in Space Engineers, these uh, thrusters all apply their forces to the center of gravity. Uh, sorry, the center of mass. And this center of mass is like they were, um, even though two of them are far away, 500 meters, more than 500 meters away from uh, these thrusters here they would act as they were facing each other in front of each other and uh, so it wouldn't it won't move the, the station but I found a, a mod Diggy's uh, realistic thrusters that takes into account the offset of the thrusters so my hope is that this will make the the system work like it will make the thrusters 
push the the station in different directions and make them spin so i will um you will see the the link in the description below for diggy's um mod if this works this would be great like this mod would be a really um a really good um a really good thing to have in your game because currently this is um, so also it affects ship design right if you don't have your thrusters aligned to the center of mass it won't be realistic and you can have a really bad design if it were um, used in in real life but in space engineers it will work because uh, you have this weird thing that all thrusters are, are facing the are aligned to the center of mass but let's see let's see i i i hope this this would work so the first thing is that let's go to the to the cockpit and we need dampers off this is important and i have this um override we need to um, set uh, the thrusters to override now they are overriding and i will activate the thrusters on and off and it and it should start spinning on off on forward and backwards not okay there on all of them and now we have them rotating again. okay that's the Magellan cloud let's try to measure this once more Let's see. And we start counting. Now. So we're counting one minute and it's it should be it, it should be halfway through in 30 seconds and we have 43 42 41 40 39 38 37 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 yes now it's rotating at two revolutions per minute with this mod and as you can see um, I had to add extra thrusters and if the thrusters are not on it won't work so now we can perform our tests now it should have mm, uh, approximately 1G at the point where the cable jo uh, joins the okay <laughs> Wait a second. I have to turn the clock off the alarm. Okay, now the <laughs> the, the challenge is to get to the platform. Ooh, there we go. Uh, I'm in the platform. Now this this should be one G here or more than one G because one G is up there wh where the tether joins the, sp the spaceship so if I jump whoa. ah you saw that right I fall down again I don't know if now I but it's behaving like I'm in a gravity field it's just that whoa, pop. it's just that it's uh, it's a lot of power I don't know 
I'm not really sure if this is because uh, in Space Engineers the character jumps like extra heavy. Ah! I'm still under, of, of course, the effect of the gravity boots. Because either I have gravity boots or the or the um, jetpack on, but here you can see that I jump and fall back, like in the same spot. I'm not moving from here. I jump, and this was not possible when when I had the when the when the station was not rotating. Now let's perform our little experiment of dropping the the mass this is because of the gravity f boots and this thing okay let's three two one now it's falling okay <laughs> it meets the mark this is what i was saying before that it it's somehow it's um It's not a line that, like um, when I drop the mass with the merge block, it has like this uh, s small acceleration to one side. But what I could see, thi this is like not one G. So there's some problem with the. We we have less than one G. I would say that if we have half a G is 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 too much. So we have some gravity, but it's not one G. It's less than one G. So I don't know if this is um, an error in my calculations. I will check check them again. So, ah, no, I think we're not, yes, we're not rotating as fast as, uh, I think, yes, we're rotating as, as half, because it should be two revolutions per minute, I think we're, we're making one revolution per minute right now, we have half a G, so what would that mean? That means that I have to add even more thrusters, like double the thrusters. Wow, okay. Let let me measure it again. I think I had need to measure this again. Uh, okay. Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's measure it again because I'm not sure. <clears throat> I would have to place um, some test masses again. Let's see, we are half G, right? it seems to me we should start counting how much how much do we have okay here it comes I will start counting again There we go, again. So we said that at 30 seconds we should have the other side. Yeah, right, I think, yes, that, that's the case. We have one revolution per minute we are making now. So that's correct. We have half a G. And so that means that I need 
four more thrusters on each side to get this thing rotating um, rotating as twice as fast okay yes but it's yeah that's that's the thing it's performing now one revolution per minute one revolution per minute you saw it there okay so let's do that goodness well at least it's working I, I mean this is this was the original intention but as you saw it works with um, only with vanilla blocks with vanilla thrusters the mod only works with um, vanilla thrusters so let me turn uh, where is this let me turn this off that's uh, forward and backward and then that one and then that one and off we turn them off and now we should add extra thrusters oh careful now this will be fun okay just in a row right because otherwise we will we could get some funny effect uh, okay let's have them there one two three four so that those are four so now the other thrusters four other here and we start all over again wow but this this is really fast um, you can get a sense guys of uh, what it would be to um, be in such uh, station if you would feel dizzy uh, rotating us at this pace one two three four five six seven eight oh, no, I think this one is not one two three four one two three. yes that's it okay so let's see yeah that's it right and yes let's go to the other this is such such a high speed right that it will be that this uh, station would be rotating it So two, four, six, yes, eight. That's everything is fine. Let's go for it. Let's see. Now this should work. Hopefully. So up. Up, down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Okay, we should skip the forward and backward ones. Again, down, up, down, up. There. Now, um, ah, by the way, I don't know. I think not all of them are overridden, right? Right. So override. So override. Oh. Oh, 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 but, but, but. We should turn them off.
Okay, now. And now... It's off, let me see. We're not moving, right? Okay, so let's see. Up, oh, it's overrating, 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 disable. This has to be overrating, overrating, overrating. Have to manage it. Backward, not forward, no? This one, this one, and this one. Okay, now we can do it. Is something moving here now? Oh, I think we're moving somewhere. Let's... Ah, yes, we were moving. But why? What is... Which thruster is... They're off, right? Something is on. There was some funny stuff going on. There was some funny stuff going on. Okay, that's off. Ah, and by the way, I should... I should place the, the thing... My test. Where is it? Uh, the merge block. My merge block right here. I will place only one because... Unable to place, why not? Ah, it's because it's off, okay. Let's press the button. Okay. There we go. And let's have this nice red color. Okay, so that's it. We should be now no movement now, okay. So let's start. Okay. So again, all this up, down, up, down, up, 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 until forward. This should be one. And then again with the down until the other. There. Yes, these are all the large. So now they're on. Off we go. Now it's really fast. Now it's fast. Wow. Okay, and now where is it? I hope we don't crash with, with any meteorite. So where are the Magellan clouds? There. So now we have to count how, how many how many revolutions per minute we're doing? So starting now. Starting now and we are 
in 30 seconds it should be the whole thing so now it's half have a revolution wow Ooh. 30 seconds to one oh it's a bit slower then it's a bit slower guys I think we will end up with having yes it's it's around three fourth G right now more or less three fourths because it has still to to have uh, to make half a revolution uh, to have two revolutions per minute okay but let's let's test how does it feel in the in the platform so now is this dangerous and difficult Ugh. <laughs> maneuver to land on the freaking platform there okay there we are guys and look at this this is what I was talking about earlier like imagine you were standing here rotating at this speed I think I will get like dizzy it's, it's so fast I mean, look at the Milky Way. Look at that. It's so fast, and we are three fourths of the of one G. And this is this make a little bit more sense, right? This makes more sense now. Okay, so now our little experiment. Here we go. Ah, man, this is. There we go. It's falling. <laughs> it still misses the target. But you you see that it's not something of the. Uh, of the platform that it goes uh, it misses the mark because when I jump if I jump on the mark well of course it's, it's, it's less distance that's also true but if I jump on the mark I will fall there a good, a good thing would be what happens if I try to jump from up there <laughs> Like, I will be like making the, the experiment myself. Like, I will be dropping, dropping from, yeah, jumping down. So, how do I do this? That's a good question. Should I just, um, wow, 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 look at that. What is going on here? It's like, Whoa! <laughs> I missed the mark. Okay, again. I will try to land in the... And I will try just to jump. Okay, I cannot. I have to still... There. How can I do this? Ah, the only thing I could do is just remove the block how about that removing the block under me that could also work should we try that so here I am yes um, but for some reason uh, it's moving it has a weird thing Okay. There. Whoa! No, it still misses. So. 
Uh, it doesn't seem to be an effect of the of the birch block. So something something makes this acceleration. It could be some Coriolis effect or something. Could it be? I don't know. Okay, guys, but I think I will. I will leave it here because um, I think I I completed my my goal now. You see that even if I'm not moving, it's it's going somewhere. You shouldn't do this. There's some um, strange effect where I'm moving. Moving uh, sideways, you see, and moving sideways. So even if I'm, it it shouldn't be like that. There's some some other some other force here at play. It should just uh, stay um, static in the ground. And I think when I'm I'm flying somehow, I don't know. It doesn't seem to move that much. Okay, but I think I will leave it here. Um, one thing, yeah, that that is amazing is how it looks like. And I think this is a good um, a good simulation, right? Like a good simulation of how it looks like to 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 be in such a in such condition in such a space station if if we had this uh, arrangement right like this layout where one ship is uh, 500 meters away from the other and the station has to rotate at two revolutions per minute this is how it would look like and this would for me it certainly would be like having some dizziness <laughs> to see all this rotating at such a speed of course if you are not looking at the background if you had if if you were like all the environment like if you're inside a room without any view to the outside then maybe you you wouldn't get uh, dizzy so in order to have um let's say for if you if you wanted to rotate at one revolution per minute for example and have one G, the two ships should be separated um, two kilometers, less than two kilometers, like 1600 uh, meters or so. That that would be the, the distance you, you should have. So if you want to spin slower and get the same gravity, you have to increase the distance between ships. Okay, but I'm happy that I um, managed to, to do this. With this um, Digi's uh, Realistic Thruster mod. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like the video if you like it and uh, see you next time. Bye!